Folks, we got grapples. We're gonna talk about grapples today, different styles of grapples. These are not all the grapple styles that we got. Can't think of any other Gs. Great grapple that we got. That's about all I can get out of that. Maybe you can do better. Anyway, that's a uh, economy root grapple over here, double, double jaw. So get a single or a double jaw. This is a rock bucket a grapple so it's a rock grapple okay you can get these in double jaw or single jaw uh you got to go to like the standard series to get the double jaw okay the uh economy or the compact series comes with the single jaw this is a six in one bucket we also have four in one buckets we have more stuff up there too we'll show you show you some other video overlay of different styles that we don't have as well but six in one so it's a four in one bucket okay which would be like a regular bucket a dozer blade um a greater blade and a grapple all combined in one, but then you add on the power rake, which I've been using the heck out of as I've been putting the driveway and we're getting close to being done all around the barn. So you power rake it all up, which is amazing. And then you crack open just a little bit. You just crack it open the bucket a little bit, and then you turn on the power rake and all that dirt, it sifts it out. Or if you had a rock, you can sift it out. So it's a sifter too, really slick. And then just got this one in. Now this grapple I got to kind of go on either machine. This is my big Kubota 105 horsepower. M5 111 um, or the 333G. This is a monster grapple. This thing really is a monster. Look at that. Put my hand on here. Look at that time thickness. It's just gigantic. Round tube steel, square tube steel. This thing is as beefy as they get. It's awesome. It looks to be indestructible. I would love to find a way to destruct it, but it may be indestructible. I like to destruct things. Is that a word? Is that the right? Nope. Use of that word? Absolutely not. Figured. And I will say, um, things are a mess out here, and I'm getting close. I'm going to use a, the sweep all. Show them that green. Zoom in on that green sweep all. We've shown you that in the past, sweeping up all this little bit of the dirt and stuff that's along the edge of the concrete pad when it dries out. I got to get some more gravel in here, too. But this is driving me nuts. I just want to point that out, that, that top soil on there. Fortunately, it's going to be covered up, but it's going to be mixed in a little bit, but whatever. What are you going to do? I could, I could pick it out piece by piece. Maybe get a vacuum, suck it up. Anyway, I want to tell you about grapples, different styles, pros, cons, all the different stuff that goes into it. And um, starting out, one of the reasons why we don't have a rake style on here right now, we've shown rake, grapple rake videos. We have some sitting back there, is that right now the fittings that are on those hoses don't fit any of these machines. Okay, so that's one thing I want to point out is that there are no standard fittings that come on tractors, okay? And I don't care what anybody tells me, they're wrong. There's no standard. There's no always one male, one female. There's no always two males, no always two females, no always quarter inch, no always three eighths or half inch or pioneer or flat face. There is no standard. And so that's super annoying i wish there would be a standard but i don't think i have the energy to make that push for the industry so something more or less for you to be aware of so so that one that chris is showing you right now has flat face couplers on there just like the skid steer does because a machine that size that big of a kubota 100 horsepower 105 horsepower will use a lot of actual skid steer attachments on there too so we just figured Skid steers always have flat face. That's one thing that the skid steer industry is, has done right, is they just put flat face couplers, male and a female, on everything, but tractors don't. So depending on the kit that you get, if it's an OEM one, actually, I can't even say that because a lot of OEM kits that I've seen still don't have the same fittings on there. Anyway, I digress, but that's why you'll see a lot of grapples that don't come with hoses or fittings because they're always in a different place, different ones are needed, so you're adding cost to the price of the grapple up front and half the time, three quarters, 80%, 90% of the time, it doesn't even work for you anyway. So um, if you need a third function or if you need the hoses or the fittings, we don't sell them, but one of our partners do, Summit Hydraulics, you can save 5% with code GWT. Get your third function, get your rear remotes, get your multiplier, your hydraulic top link, your fittings, your hoses, your check valves, your regulators, all that hydraulic stuff, save 5% code GWT. Okay, so what's my favorite style of grapple? I really love the rake style that we don't have right here, 
but that doesn't mean I don't like these styles. Actually, I've, I've, I've used this style a lot, the root grapple, all right? I don't know why they call it roots. I don't, I don't know what's so great about roots for this style of grapple. I mean, roots are slippery little buggers anyway. They, they fit through everything, so I don't get it. I mean, I would say, if anything, this is more like a, uh, I don't know, like a log grapple or something. It's got like a long bottom jaw where you can go underneath a log and clamp down on it. It's like a shelf, really. Like a shelf grapple. Is that what you said? Yeah. Like a clamshell. No, but that's like a rake style. No, shelf. Shelf. Like a shellfish? Oh, that's, I'm just saying that looks like a sh shelf. I'm hungry. Something um, just happened. Why are you talking about food? I don't think I was. Huh. Maybe I was. Oh, we didn't clamp this one down. No worry, folks. We're professionals. Good job. Uh-oh. Oh, does he? Oh, he's got the yeah. strength. Yeah. So anyway, I will say grapples of this style, we're going to call them root grapples since that's what they're called for reasons unknown, are typically a lot cheaper. Well, they're cheaper. I don't know about a lot, but lots of a relative term, a, a subjective term. Uh, but they're cheaper than rake styles, all right? Um, very popular. You're going to see them all. They do generally weigh a little bit more. They are going to hold the load out a little bit further away from the loader. So there's some trade-offs, right? Not significantly further away. And they don't weigh significantly more, but they're considerations, but they're cheaper, right? So if you just want to get into a graph and get one cheaper, get this style. I might be interrupting your flow, but why would you choose one top jaw over two? So, well, cost, a, a single top jaw, like this is a single top jaw versus a double top jaw. So less steel, right? So that's cheaper. There's only the steel, there's only one hydraulic cylinder on there versus double the amount. So that costs more, but there's more, um, a little bit more versatility, I guess, for uneven loads. It's gonna give you a more secure clamp on there. Like say you have a log that really tapers down or a goofy brush pile that's thick on one side and thin on the other. These jaws will clamp down independently. And so you get a more secure grasp on it as you're transporting things around. They are nice. I mean, if, if money is no object and weight is never a concern, then go with a double jaw. But it, plenty of people will get a single jaw and it's just fine, right? So uh, moving on to this style, since it's staring, me, staring at me right here, this is a, again, you can get these just as rock buckets, okay? You don't have to get this with the, the top jaw grapple on there, but you can't add it on after the fact. So if you want to get it, in my opinion, pay for the add-on, and, and get it. So uh, get it with a, the grapple jaw on there. Opens up the versatility. Not only can you use it for rocks or me, I was using it for firewood um, and kind of shaking it, letting all the little junk fall through, but then you can still grab stuff, right? It's just more versatile. So if you're gonna get one tool, make it as versatile as you can because overall it's gonna save you money that way. Um, again, the, the compact series comes with just the one jaw, but you go to the bigger series and you can get multiple, well, two, not like three or four, but you can get two jaws on there if you want it. Now we talked about add-on, said you can't add this on after the fact, we're gonna, we don't have it out here, but we've shown it to you before, you can get an add a grapple. So if you wanna get into something a little bit cheaper or maybe you have a pinned on bucket and so you don't have a quick attach to be able to take your bucket off and put a grapple on, well, you can get a bolt-on top jaw of a grapple. You still have to get hydraulics put on your tractor to, to operate it, but then you can just have just the bolt, on, kinda like this, it's from Precision that we sell, okay? Uh, you just bolt it onto the top of your bucket and hook it up to your hydraulics, and there you go. Then you have your bucket and you have a grapple function too. Since I'm thinking about it, we keep talking about having to add hydraulics. That is an extra cost. Again, we talked about getting that from Summit. But if you don't want to mess with hydraulics at all, WorkSaver does offer a, it's for small tractors, okay? And you have to have a quick attach, JDQA or SSQA, but they offer an electric grapple okay this is great for john deere 1025rs and kubota bx's and then one frame size up you know the john deere 2025 2032r kubota lx kubota b series those kinds of machines there so uh, and and those kits include all the electric harnesses and everything you need we've done a video a while ago on our channel too it, it, you can hook it up all by yourself a couple hours and you're ready to go i guess since I'm thinking about it, if you don't even want to mess with the electric and you want to just, if you have a quick attach, John Deere quick attach, Skitzer quick attach, you can get a brush crusher, okay? Now I used to 
be really big on the brush crushers and everything changes with time. And so for reasons unknown to me besides inflation, the prices on the brush crushers have got quite a bit more. They used to be a super cost effective option, but they are to the point now where it's worth considering getting a like an economy root grapple like we talked about first and then getting a, a summit hydraulic kit installing that yourself you may wind up being right about the same price as just a brush crusher it's maybe more work for you because you got to install it you got to buy multiple things yada 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 but you may wind up with a you know just a more uh controllable item you know, and, and then some more versatility too because your tractor has a third function on it now and you can put like a hydraulic angling blade on there, uh, four in one bucket, other things on there too. So, man, there's a lot to consider. It's just stuff that's rolling around up here. Okay, so we did talk about this six in one bucket. Got a four in one version up there too, which just, again, doesn't have that power rake. Man, this dirt's still driving me nuts. Um, it's my fault, just so everybody knows. I wasn't going to say anything. You I didn't know have to you mention weren't. that. It was a real quality move on your part not to say anything. You didn't have to mention anything. But you did. I appreciate that. So this and the 4 one bucket, actually, I have, have been on my tractor a ton. And so the 4 one bucket I had first, I've been using it on my Coyote DK. And one day, I was scooping up dirt. I took it down to the front of the property, dropped it off there. I had some old fence posts that I dug out that had concrete on them. On the way back, clamped those with the four in one bucket, brought them back here, dropped them off. And then I graded out the last bit of the dirt and then like clamshelled it. Like it was like I went over the last little dirt pile that was sitting like this, had it open and clamshelled it back closed and picked up that last bit of dirt. Man, I tell you, all with one tool, that's pretty sweet. So um, now, John Deere 1025s, Kubota BX owners, you're pretty much out of luck. You gotta have like a two series or bigger to be able to get a four in one bucket. Uh, on there and now if you want the six and one with the power rake tractor owners you're pretty much out of luck i don't even think my big kubota m5 105 horsepower tractor has enough hydraulic flow so this requires 15 to 25 gpms of continuous flow you need some additional electric controls that are plugged in right here this is for the six and one okay with the power rake because it switches the hydraulic function from opening and closing the the bucket here to running the power rake, all right? Maybe you could get somebody smarter than me, I'm sure. I won't say it can never be done because somebody could prove me wrong, I'm certain of it. But it would be a challenge to make that work on a tractor. So the, the power rake version is really for skid steers only, but the four in one bucket version, I use that on my Coyote DK. It, it works on, you know, on most every tractor besides those little guys. And they do make a PTO power rake, so you could throw that on the back. They do make a PTO power rake, yeah, from uh, WorkSaver and Reist, both make those, so. There are options available, but power rakes, that's what makes this actually such an insane value is because you get the power rake functionality. We actually have a, an Ironcraft uh, power rake up there that's basically the same price, maybe a hair more. Now you can angle that power rake, but you don't have any of this bucket versatility. So it's one tool. This gives you, it's an incredible, uh, it's insane. I mean, I don't know why everybody doesn't have one. All right. So this is a huge version of a root grapple. Small version, huge version, okay? Enough said about that one. Let's go up and look at these guys. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Now, the important thing about grapples is watching your weight and a lot of folks don't know how much a grapple should weigh for their track for their size of a tractor, but we do. We know the right size grapple to put on your tractor. I mean, over the winter, we made a video, I think at some point about a, a gentleman who ordered something, a bucket or something for his tractor from another company, doesn't matter who, but he didn't ask any questions. But then he asked us after he ordered it from this other company, like what we thought about it. And he had, I don't remember all the details, but this will be close enough. He had like a John Deere 1025R and he ordered like an 800 pound bucket for the front of it. 
It's like, man, it's not even gonna lift it off the ground, let alone if you fill it with anything, you still can't lift it off the ground. So it's like completely useless, you know, and it hadn't delivered yet. So he was able to cancel it and, re you know, get refunded and all that kind of thing. But weight on tractors is, is very important. The bigger the tractor you go, it's less important, but a lot of folks watching have small tractors and I'm telling you, you're gonna rob your lift capacity if you get too heavy of a attachment, whether that's a bucket, whether that's a grapple, whether that's pallet force, whether that's whatever. So anyway, feel free, reach out to us. We offer something called a worry-free guarantee, basically as an encouragement to have you reach out to us if you don't know what you're looking at, because we want you to take our recommendation. We're not about upselling you, because if we upsell you, it's gonna be to something bigger. Yeah, it's more money, but it's gonna be bigger, it's gonna be heavier, it's not gonna work well for you. We want you to get the right thing and be happy, and get the right connection on there, uh, you know, JDQA or SSQA, and just be set up properly the first time around. That's something that is important to us and for you spending your hard-earned money and making a purchase online to a company that you don't know from anybody else. So we wanna go about it the right way and help you out and make sure you're set up properly. Okay. So we showed these two grapples last year on the Summit TX25. So these are great grapples for the Summit TX25. This is, a, again, a single draw. This is a 48 inch version of that economy root grapple. This is a 48 inch version of a grapple rake. Single draws, okay. You can't even fit a double jaw in here, what, you know. You know, so just go with the single jaw. Great for small tractors. Summit TX25, you go to BX. John Deere 1025. Actually, though, we use this on the Summit as well, and this is a bigger grapple. What's that about? Well, Precision makes a, oh, I'm gonna call it, this isn't to say Ironcraft is not a good grapple, because they are, and we sell an absolute pile of Ironcraft grapples. They're a great price point, great quality. But Precision is a premium grapple. Um, it's an AR400 high strength steel all throughout, but that means there's less steel that means the weight's lower, okay? And so you can use a larger grapple on a smaller machine because it doesn't weigh as much. And at some point that's kind of ridiculous, but we actually already had this grapple around so we did use it on the Summit TX25. It's 72 inches wide, I think. Is this 60 or 72? Mm, looks more I'm, like 60 to me. I'm suddenly second guessing myself. Yeah, maybe this one's 60 inches wide. I thought it was 72 though. I swear somewhere on here it said. But maybe the sticker, this, this grapple's a few years old. And maybe the sticker has, a, oh, it's right there. Yeah, but that doesn't 322. Matter. Yeah, so this is the 60, this is the 60 inch wide one. Um, but anyways, point being, you can get by with bigger grapples if you go with something more premium that weighs less and still have it be a good fit for your tractor. I think it's a good idea to match the width of your tractor, you know, and maybe go a little bit bigger, kind of like your bucket normally is, you know, about the width, maybe a few inches bigger. And that's about, that's about all you need. Anyway, that's my uh, take on that. Then we have the, the four-in-one bucket down here. I don't think we have any other grapples. But this is a four-in-one bucket. And this thing's been this thing's been a pile of fun. Love using this thing. It's gonna go like, in my opinion, if you can, if you're buying a tractor new, tell the dealer you don't want the bucket. Give me a credit for the bucket and get yourself a four-in-one. It's funny. We have folks that watch uh, our channel internationally, and you know we have a lot of videos, so it'd be tough to go through all the comments. But I, I over and over and over and over, I, I see comments like, "Man, in Europe or in Australia, Australia yeah. or wherever it is, four-in-one buckets are on every tractor. They just like basically come standard. It's like everybody has one, and it's not like that in the states for some reason. But get rid of your regular bucket and put that money towards a four-in-one bucket. I'm telling you, man, you might be able to get by without." Uh, the regular bucket and a grapple and potentially just get by with this. Grade, grab, scoop, back drag, whatever. They're pretty sweet. So really, I, the only thing I can think of is jaw opening. And again, that's where, you know, like these premium grapples, like the Precisions, they are gonna have a wider, like, you know, taller jaw opening, which is cool. I, I struggle to really think of when I need that. I'm sure there are applications that come up, um, but for the most part, you know, any of these grapples up here open wide enough. I mean, this is a big grapple, so this is, you know, 
you know, that's a pretty big opening. But I mean, look at these. These are these are really fine for the most part. I mean, I guess maybe it'd be nice if maybe these teeth kind of, well, I don't know, maybe went out a little bit more this way. Because from here to here, that opening's maybe a little narrow, but I don't know. It's it's not the highest thing on my priority list, I guess, if I'm looking at grapples. But that's a good way to look at it, though, too. Make your priority list. I say this all the time. Do it with anything, whether you're shopping for a tractor or any tractor tool. You're going to have priorities that are different than mine, that are different from Chris's holding the camera, that are different from anybody else's. Okay, so just make your own priority list. And then go through all the options that are out there. See what checks the highest boxes, the most boxes, and... Let that guide you. Don't make it more complicated than it has to be. Nothing's going to check every box. If it does, well, that's amazing. That's a no-brainer. But rarely do they check every box. So just, you know, pick the one that checks the most boxes and call it good. Anyway, we can help you with any of these grapples, all right? So reach out, shoot us an email. Or if you already know what you want, just go ahead and buy it. Go to goodworkstractors.com. Okay, you'll see all the prices, the sizes, the uh, features, and specs and all that kind of stuff on the website and if you don't shoot us a question we'll round it up for you and get back to you but after you order some grapples are in stock some are made to order so we ship some from us we ship some from the factory to you either way we'll ship it right to you and if you need any other tractor tool as well well you see all that stuff back there that's all demo equipment that i use out here for videos or that we've done in videos all the stuff that we sell we like to show you things that we sell you know helps make more informed decisions and Believe me, if I don't like it, you're not gonna see it on our website. That's part of the whole process. There's a, a lot of work that goes into deciding what equipment we're gonna carry. Only carry the good stuff. So anyway, thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.